What's poppin' my Rocket Powered Sound designers? I'm Shane from Rocket Powered Sound and I hope that you guys like that brand new intro because I'm gonna be using it a lot now because a lot of complaints about the growl intro. Whatever. Anyways, last tutorial we did that XXX Tentacion style distorted sub bass and a lot of you requested to actually get into the big booming 808. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. Just a little context, this is what it sounds like. So this isn't your average sub bass here guys, this is a booming heavy 808 that has, it's actually really rich in the harmonics which is kind of hard to get when you're working with sub basses here. So uh, if you guys find that sound amusing to your ears, you already know what to do, just support this video by clicking that like button, that's all you have to do and if you haven't already and you're new here, click that subscribe button. We have serum tutorials coming out every single week and you're missing out if you're not subscribed. Anyways, let's start off by initializing this patch. <laughs> so we're going to be using a three oscillator setup. The sub, oscillator A, and oscillator B. Start things off, we're going to be turning on the sub. Okay. And we're actually going to be turning this octave up just one. Um, let me just get into my musical typing. Now, we're the sub is not really going to be used as like the bass for the sound. So I don't mean bass as in B-A-S-S, -S, I mean bass as in B-A-S-E, like the foundation. Uh, we're going to be using oscillator A as the foundation really. Uh, so anyways, we can turn down this level a tad bit because um, it's not really that important. It's just to add in those higher end harmonics into the sound just a little bit. Not higher end, but you know, you know what I'm saying. It just makes it sound more fuller, full. Or er, <laughs> the sub. Uh, oscillator A, we're gonna get into our basic shapes and we're literally just gonna leave it on this basic sine waveform. Sine waveforms are the ideal waveform when we're working with uh, sub basses and 808s. Oscillator B, we're gonna turn on now, put that bad boy on a basic shape as well. And actually, we're not gonna be leaving it on a sine waveform. I know, surprise, surprise. We're gonna be putting this on a triangle waveform. Now, triangles and signs do vary a little bit. Let's just take a listen for an example. Um, they sound almost like a very smooth down uh, square waveform almost, doesn't it? It sounds like a softer square, um, which is, is good. You know, we're gonna be using this to add in those harmonics. We don't want all sine waveforms. We want sine as the base. B-A-S-E, not B-A-S-S, -S, I'm not referring to, I mean like the foundation, um, but anyways, uh, we're going to be kicking this up with the sync. Now, as we start to turn up the sync, you're going to realize, all right, we have more, it seems like we have more cycles of the waveform being introduced into this window here. Now, if you guys take a look at the percentage right now, it says 2 percent 2.00 percent now that means there is exactly two waveforms in one cycle or i don't mean two waveforms two two uh cycles of the original waveform in just one cycle so that's going to boost the octave up one so see what i mean we just went up an entire octave now we're not going to be uh getting it all the way up to the perfect 3%. Instead, we're going to be going 2.88, 2.92. I like that sound. I kind of, we're going to be playing around here to get what tone works best because, guys, it's completely up to you. This isn't my sound, this is your sound. So I like where it's at at 2.92. Oh, you know what? Maybe 2.8. Eight, seven. It's going to add in some really nice uh, harmonics into the sound here. Now, for the filter, we're going to put this onto oscillator B, and we're just going to leave it on a low pass filter because, you know, there are some high end frequencies escaping that we don't want. We're going to cut this down to about 236 hertz. 
drop that resonance down and actually boost, boost the drive a little bit to about like 15. We can always go back later and adjust the sync to how we'd like. And okay, that's going to bring us now into our effects. First things for, you know what? One thing I forgot, we kind of want to shape this. We want it to have one note that goes boom and have a little bit of release on there. So first things first, we're gonna turn up the release. I'll turn off the compressor. You know what? I think 2.65 is good. All right, and we're also gonna turn down the sustain a little bit. That way, um, it's not just, you know, that's not a huge deal, but all right. Yeah, sustain's optional, honestly. I like to use sustain if I'm not using release. So at first it hits hard, it goes boo. Typically in dubstep songs, you want to do that. Uh, not necessarily trap, I don't think, because trap, I usually use one shot notes, not an entire uh, bar. But let's go into the compressor. As I was saying, we're going to move the compressor to the top of the effects chain because we're going to be using it first. And we're actually going to be turning on our multiband. Now, one thing that you're going to realize, not too loud, we're going to turn up the gain. All right. We have a lot of high end frequencies getting into this sound and that's annoying. So we are going to turn the high band all the way down to zero. Turn up the gain a little bit. Oh, and by the way, voicing, we want to turn on mono legato, add a little bit of portamento. That way, only one voice or one key is going to be playing at a time. No matter if you're trying to play a chord or you're just trying to play, get a little pitch bend in, you know? Uh, same thing with the mid band. Maybe turn up the mid a little bit. Threshold, we can turn down a bit. You know, actually, the threshold is fun. Okay, now we also want to turn up the release a little bit. Is one thing the multi band compressor is guilty for is when we are in these um, areas of low volume it tries to compensate for that by actually raising the volume. So when we turn on the release, or turn up the release, it's it's actually gonna take longer for it to actually do that. So, uh, you know, that's set. Now we're gonna get into the disto. Disto, show. <laughs> we're going to turn on a soft clip. Now, let's just hear what we get with the tube. Gross. We need something a little softer, maybe a soft clip. We're actually not even going to be using the drive. It sharpens up the sound a little bit. So we just want that mix around 48%. We want bitter, sweet, bitter and sweet all in the same time. Okay, perfect, perfect. Finally, we're going to finish this bad boy off with a filter, just a low pass. You know what? That should do the trick. That's how I make these bomb ass uh, sub basses. So let's just hear it in the song. Three, and a two, and a one. pretty damn good if you ask me but who am I right I'm just Shane from Rocket Powered Sound <laughs> uh, speaking of Shane from Rocket Powered Sound if you guys want to sauce me a follow on the Instagram it's just Shane Gregoire name is right here present on the screen you can 
whip out your phone right now, put that information in. But it's completely up to you. All right, guys, without further ado, my name is, you already know what my name is, and I will catch you guys in the next serum video.